Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our FTB Interactions series. I am just starting to get some of the glass built, as we can see, and looking into maybe getting this a bit easier. And there is actually some quests here. One is this Better Builder one, really easy to craft up. But then there is this one from Cyclic, I believe. Yeah, a ranged building scepter. So I just went ahead and crafted that up. And this thing is huge in the world. I feel like that is absolutely, look at it compared to like <laughs> that. That is huge. But I don't really know. How... I think you put the blocks in it. And uh, I think that's how it works. I'm going to try the other one as well. Like if we do that, does this work? Use mount wheel, use sneak. All right, so it's kind of like that. I don't know if there is. I would rather have one that places like the whole the whole thing. Is there building gadgets in this? There is actually building gadgets. I don't have any do I have ender pearls? Oh, I can never remember. No, I don't have ender pearls. Um Alright, uh I am gonna try this final one, because this sounds like it's kind of what I am looking for. Form block starting at the point you're looking at, which is kind of what the isn't that what the building gadget does? And this one doesn't have a difficult recipe user, just a piece of obsidian with that thing in there. Why? Oh, well, it has a pretty big range. That's that's a thing. <laughs> um, don't want to. There. Not that. I mean, that's 64 EMC. I don't know why I was worried about that, but yeah, we'll just upgrade it, I guess. And we'll see. Like I said, I think this works like the building gadget. We're kind of doing quests anyway. So if I have one like this that work. All right, that's. Do I need? Hmm. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I thought that was gonna be easier. The one will form block starting at the point you're looking at. Very nice for quickly building large platforms or in the directions the standard building wand doesn't allow for. Hello. <laughs> Do, does this only work like if it's astral sorcery and it only works when it can see the, the moon or something I'm gonna be sad no right I'm definitely definitely doing something not right here is there a, there might be a thing I'll have to look that up but uh, yeah so I'm gonna build a little bit of a kind of gonna be not the full dome but I'm gonna build kind of an area that we can start uh, placing these down and get the blast furnace running so this is gonna take me some time I'll uh I'll look that up might be in the book um uh, I can't remember. Is there a is there a search in this? I can't remember. Oh, there it is. I just saw it. Here, this recipe was moved in the current mod pack. Check other. Okay, yeah, I know that. The attempt to channel starlight energies, properties of stardust, destructive ones that can channel this energy. Placing blocks into a straight line or replacing blocks with others should be easy enough for a properly channeled wand. Um, 
uh, what else? All right, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to look that up because that didn't really. <laughs> do I need to activate it or something? Is that do we need to throw it in some liquid starlight or something? I don't know. That didn't really uh, tell me much. Did I just destroy that? Did that? <laughs> All right, well, don't do that. <laughs> what just happened to the wad? The wad disappeared. That just destroyed the wad. Hmm. Okay. Well, it wasn't too bad. It was just a couple pieces of obsidian, basically. But, uh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, let me look some stuff up and we'll be right back. Alright. We are back and I've done a bit of building. And I did figure out how the formation wand actually works. And what you do is you shift click on a block and then whatever that block is. So like if I wanted to do gravel, I don't have any gravel, so I can't do that. But if we shift click on that, then we can just build to us like that. So I don't know. I guess I wasn't shift clicking. I, I can't remember what I was doing, but yeah, shift click on the block you want to and then it'll build towards you so pretty cool it does seem to have like a pretty huge distance as well okay so not well, actually that might just be because i'm out I actually don't know what the distance is now i'm thinking about it all right so it does look like it's what is that about 30 maybe 32 but uh, yeah, so as we can see, I've kind of got like a little kind of area. Obviously, this is not going to be what it's like in the final version, but I just wanted to get kind of a big area to build out on. I need to finish doing this. I have disconnected that. Yeah, we're getting a lot of the broken glass, but this will just kind of give us a bit of a an area so we can just see like how big this is actually going to be um, I'm pretty excited to see the final product but this is basically just like one side of it so yeah this is gonna be pretty pretty big I think is this the center this will be the center but uh, yeah all right so that's that I need to deal with all those glass shards Don't worry about that um, Fortunately, we do have <laughs> stuff dripping down. It's because there's I only did one block. I didn't even think about that. But I'm thinking either I build a, another layer or I can just do some of this. But I don't... I'm sure I'll... Well, I actually did quite a bit, actually. Actually, that's going to have stuff spawning right on top of that, though. Change of plan. I'm going to do one more layer of cobble, I think. Um, yeah, because I had some bats spawning when I I put the uh, when I put the thing over here. There was some dark area and the bats could actually spawn. It was kind of funny. So yeah, I think I'll just do another layer of cobble to stop the dripping. Because that's going to be a bit annoying. But uh, alright. With that, I think... May end up actually moving. Is it, do I want to move this? No, I think I want to move these. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I think. And then we're going to do one and then two. Now that I have plenty of room, um, I am going to need one more layer of bricked bronze hulls. So I'm going to have to get that crafted up. I think, and we'll probably just do. I did bring down. Tinker stuff because I needed to uh, repair my stone shovel. I had to dig out, as we can see, this is like the lair. So I had to dig out quite a bit of gravel and stone to get this flat. So I brought that down and uh, I guess. Where do I want? I usually like. Having the things go left to right, 
Like, I don't want to have an industrial oven there, and then it goes this way, and then it goes into a thing. I don't usually like that. I would much rather have it go in the other way. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll do industrial oven there, the two there, and that goes into a boiler. What I want. Maybe. As we can see, though, how lots we're going to need lots and lots of room for all these multi blocks. So, uh, all right. Let me. I'm going to need to craft up that. I'm going to need that's six times nine. I need 54 bronze and I need 18 brass. Now, brass, I think I am out of zinc. I can get zinc from 10, though. I think I need to. I think I need to centrifuge it. Yeah, no. I can't remember what it was. Why is it? I feel like it was... I think it was tin... Tiny piles of ink. Yeah, I can get it that way. Um, That's easier than trying to do it with a cauldron, I think. I don't have a centrifuge, though. All right, time to get a centrifuge, I guess. Let's use four. It uses a lot of them. I'm actually going to use this basic electronic circuit, I think. Hmm. I'm like, we're not going to be able to craft these up for a while. Maybe I should hold on to it. Just in case. I think... Man, actually, can I? I may be able to just craft this up. I have everything for this. I mean, I guess that's the benefits of <laughs> batch crafting. I'm really bad about doing batch crafting, but. And I keep. I was about to mention I wanted a packager again. I'm going to stop talking about the packager. But I'm going to get one. All right. What was that? Centrifuge. Oh. There we go. All right, basic centrifuge. That to go. Although, I think I just smelted all the tin. <laughs> uh, all right, no, I didn't. I have some. Not a lot, but I definitely have some. All right, uh, let me get some of this stuff moved over. I'm going to craft up more of the bronze tulls. I need brass. Oh, it's actually less brass than... I was thinking it was... Yeah, I was thinking it was... That seems like a terrible recipe. You do get two, though. That is actually cheaper. Right? Six bronze, two brass, and that'll get us two of those. So three bronze, one blast, one, three bronze, one brass, half the bricks. That is actually cheaper. Although we need nine, which is a bit annoying. All right, well, that's actually easier than, uh, easier than I was thinking it was going to be. All right, anyway, let me get uh, my inventory cleaned up here, and we'll come back. All right, I am back. As you can see, I have broken that down, crafted up a couple more things, and we're getting we're getting there with this. Now, I'm going to need some... I need some... Uh, not item conduits, I need fluid conduits. Now, I can make quite clear glass in the alloy smelter, um, unfortunately, we cannot get fused glass until we get a blast furnace, which is what we're kind of working for. So we will upgrade this uh, when we can. Uh, but in the meantime, probably going to three. Let's do. That'll be plenty, I think. 
I do that. That's a really fast. <laughs> That's a fast uh, crafting. That should have. Yep, there we go. All right, nice. So there is some of this. Now, unfortunately, these do respect gravity. It's not like the other ones, but uh, it should be okay. We're not doing anything super complicated here. I just need to get the creosote out. Otherwise, they will stop running. No, you should all. Yeah, nice. They all worked. Now, we're going to do... I don't want to do this. I actually may change this part of it. I may do a chest with a conveyor, actually. Um, not that it, nah, it doesn't really matter what I'm talking about. There's no point in <laughs> worrying about that. All right, we'll do that. And there we go. That should turn on. Yes. All right, and then that will make charcoal. And we'll just do this. And as we can see, this is the reason I wanted to separate these, because this makes it so much easier than trying to get this side around underneath and then like into that. That just makes it so much easier. All right, so that should be, yes, so that is going. Now our boiler is going to be here. Now, I think, where I want my boiler? Yeah, I guess that will be boiler. This isn't ideal. I almost feel like I should be doing this over here so I can send it out that way. Would probably be better. Because I'm just trying to think, where am I going to put my blast furnace if I do this? I always do my blast furnace like over here or something. It doesn't need to be right next to it. I can always use... I can always like pipe the steam over, but yeah, that's a bit... Well, not the steam. It would be... The generators would be over here, and then... Since we have lossless cables, I can actually run quite a lot of cables without having to worry about loss. Yeah, I think we'll put the boiler here. Now, boiler is somewhere. Yes, this is the one for the boiler. Um, just circuits, bronze machine casing. That is too bad. Lots of bronze. Lots of bronze. Lots of bronze. And then input bus. Output hatch, input hatches. Uh, input bus will be for charcoal. Output hatch would be for the steam. And input hatch would be one for water and one for creosote. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking we want to do this. Um, we're going to do, I'll do this and hopefully. Too annoying. Don't really get a whole lot of choices with these things. There's no like colors. There's no um, no way to like direct it anywhere. And I guess this will just kind of go into here. Now I need to remember. Right, so it doesn't, I think it does, I think you were, I want to say you replace the bottom tier with the things, don't you? Pretty sure the bottom is where you put the, the things, yeah, six, and then, yeah, it, you replace the firebox casings with the hatches. Um, not the output hatch, but the input bus and the other two input. So, all right. 
guess uh, let me get this going. I may just do this. Just to kind of let that fill up. I may even drop a trash can. I can't do a priority on these cables, though. The um, Yeah, I, I can't do a priority on the fluid, unfortunately. I think they'll go in here first and then into the thing, but I could be totally wrong. Who knows? All right, we'll just do that. Ew. Did we ever make a crescent hammer? I don't remember. Is that a thing we made? Oh, we might have. Maybe not. It is eight steel, but we're gonna need it. Might as well. I don't have an extruder yet, so these gear recipes are really expensive because I have to use the LA version. All right, what else was iron plates? And steel's pretty easy to make anyway. Um, especially now that we have coke ovens, I can just produce the charcoal from wood. We have like unlimited wood from our tree farm, so it's pretty easy. Although, uh, iron is not infinite, <laughs> but uh, so yeah, there we go. I think it'll go in there first and then there. I don't know. We shall see. So that'll just let that run. Um, I could probably throw, it doesn't matter. This is just going to be producing the coke coke. All right, let me do some crafting. We just need lots and lots of bronze. Actually, no, I think I have, no, I have a whole bunch of, what am I talking about? Shall copperate. We have a lot of copper there. So man, just getting starlight and Getting dense ores has really helped on resources. What is that? That's is that's like four that's four stacks of copper there, just from that one stack of chal copperite. And it's super easy to get. So alright, uh we'll be back in a little bit and uh let's see if we can get the boiler running. I do need don't know how fast it is going to take water now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I may need to, does it, yeah, it doesn't mention water. Just trying to think what would be the best way. Would it be, uh, the, I was totally, I'm so used to nuclear craft, nuclear craft's not in here. Nope. I don't have nuclear craft, uh, infinite water. Maybe another aqueous accumulator, or there was another one, wasn't there? Mechanism pump, isn't that the the next one? It kind of were. Yeah, we can stabilize redstone. Do that. Yeah, that's just redstone in the thing. We can do that. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I I think I'll. Yeah, we'll see. I think we'll probably end up doing that. That's a bit annoying. <laughs> Wait, don't we have a we have a pump up there? Although I don't have it won't be getting powered. <laughs> Wait, we don't have RF for the other pump. All right, I got to figure out what I want to do here. Uh, we'll be back. Okay, I think I have everything for this. Could be wrong though. Yeah, I do. Oh, sweet. All right. We also get some Eternos fuel. That's kind of cool. And advanced mechanical pipes. That is fluids. Now, I actually don't know how much this uses. I I feel like, 
I'm pretty sure that uh, that thing won't be the aqueous accumulator. I'm pretty sure won't be enough, and we don't want explosions. Um, but yeah, I don't know how to get. Uh... This needs power, doesn't it? Yeah, stored energy. So, here's this fluid pump. Oh, that's easy. But I don't actually don't know. Does that does that use power? Or well, I don't know if that's gonna. I don't know if that would use up the the liquid. Uh, we need four. Yeah, blah blah blah. I just don't want to, uh, I don't want this to blow up or anything. Hey, we got a cake. I don't know why we held steam, but we have held steam in the past. <laughs> oh no, it's just a check mark. I was like, uh, I don't know. All right, I guess let's build this and then I'm gonna, f I gotta figure out water. Because the last thing we want this to do is blow up. And that is definitely possible. And also, I should really be checking. Ah, of course. <laughs> uh, always. All right. You really shouldn't build in different chunks. Um, because, especially with a boiler, the problem is if something, say, you run away and only the front one is loaded or something like that, then it could think there is no water. And then as soon as you get close enough, it... Uh, it's like, oh, there's no water, and then it explodes kind of thing. If, for say, like, if this is my water one or something like that. Um, so this is really not a great idea, but we do have backup, so let's live a little dangerously. Um, I'm going to put... I'm going to put that on that. So the water... This is going to be the, the water, so it's always going to be in the same thing. And then... Not that one. We're gonna do input bus will be here. Output hatch will be up, but this will be that. And then I guess we could just do, I'm not gonna get this going yet until I have that, but then we can just extract from there. Maybe Disconnect that one. Oh, see, it's full now. It's already full. Uh, we do have three running, so... I'm just going to leave that until we get this set up. I don't want anything to go wrong and explode. It did say six, right? That might be not including the the two input hatches. I don't know. We'll see if it uh, works. There we go. And that's not enough either. Oh, I do need I need a steam one. I guess. I am short one though. Maybe that was off a bit. We don't know. So we'll just craft up one more. It's relatively easy. It's just uh, bricks and some um, bronze, bronze plates. And then it should form if I did that correctly. I always do that one. One is the one next to it. All right, let's hope this.
All right, well, that didn't form, so I did do something wrong with that. Um, input hatch, input bus. Does this have to be exactly there? That'll make me sad if it has to be in that exact location. And I left my wrench over here. All right, we'll we'll try what they're saying. Maybe it has to be in the exact place. Input bus, input hatch over here. Man, that's awkward. That is an awkward place for that input hatch. Input bus, input hatch, output hatch, firebox, firebox. Like, you rotate. <laughs> there we go. See, this only has the one. This doesn't have two input hatches, and this has to use two input hatches. You can put a hatch for water, input bus for... You can use an item and a flint fluid input at the same time. Highly recommend it. Yeah. But that doesn't form. <laughs> hmm. All right. Let's try this. Let's throw this down there. Nope. See? Still not forming. Did I place this in the wrong spot? Did I... <laughs> uh... Alright. I'm pretty sure... We'll just pretend I didn't do that. I was like, okay, there's something. <laughs> there's something wrong there. Uh... Alright, um... I don't... Alright, there it goes. Okay, I don't think it needs to be in that. Alright, change the plan again. Alright, input hatch. Input hatch. No, we'll do the one. That'll be water. Let's put this back here. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't need to be in the exact spot. I had this in the wrong spot. We'll just pretend I didn't do that. Yeah, alright, there we go. I did think it was weird that I had an extra firebox guessing. Um, I know I have done that before as well. We can also probably put this wherever we want. Um, all right. Uh, let me... Uh, I need to get the water. And then we can... We can throttle. Oh, that's really cool. I'm not going to need this, like, going crazy. So, like, I can always, like, lower it. So we're not... Uh, Although, that's less efficient. Yeah. That's interesting. We'll definitely mess with that at some point. Um, does it say how much... It doesn't say how much water it uses. All right. Uh, I guess... And I'm really worried about that aqueous accumulator not uh, producing enough water. Um, I'm going to craft one up, though. Yeah, just because this doesn't need any, doesn't need water or anything. This isn't, this isn't too bad at all. All right, we are back, and I think I remembered as I was looking stuff up, the CEU is what, how you get uh, the forge energy. Um, so we'll probably end up switching to the mechanism pump. Um, but I don't have that set up yet, and I don't really have any power over there yet. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't want, I want to have separate, I don't want, like, the pump powered by the boiler kind of thing, if that makes sense. I don't want it, if there's a power issue, then we're going to run into problem. What did I do wrong? Oh, I got, no! Oh, well. <laughs> I didn't need to. Oh, shoot. I am out of steel. I didn't need to make it into a machine hall. I didn't realize that. I think that I have extra over here. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely not ideal. <laughs> and does this work in the kiln? No. That's right. Only works in there. We'll just do this and then hopefully the we'll get the boiler kind of running. Alright, so we just need the eight or the Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Like, that looks so similar to that. It even starts with, like, LV machine. LV machine. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit hard to tell the difference. But we'll throw this underneath. They did give us these pumps, and we'll see how fast this pumps. I'll, I'll probably throttle it, to be honest, just so we can see... I almost turned that into a machine hole again. <laughs> All right, there is your aqueous accumulator. Uh, kind of annoying with the pumps, but it wasn't too bad. All right, so we'll throw it under here and... Water. That always bugs me when recipes take a bucket, because then I have to craft up a new bucket. Um, I guess there. And I think I was like, Did that just go somewhere. No, oh, looks like I need another. I was hoping that it would maybe produce water before I. All right, that should be good. There we go. I mean, it produces a decent amount, but it's not like some amazing amount. All right. There we go. So that's that. Um, maybe we should just turn this down. At least to get it started. And uh, basically, we're going to feed it cold coke. I'll just throw a couple in just to see. Um... This is basically a waste to be honest it's not going anywhere but like i said the cold coke is easy to get um we'll just do that all right it's turning on it does it starts producing steam when it gets up to 100 but once it gets higher and higher it produces more and more so all right well that oh but it is it's tearing through the cold coke um, once it gets all the way up, it stops using so much cold coke, but uh, to get up there, it definitely requires quite a bit of power. I don't think the throttling affects it uh, this early on, I think. Yeah. All right. Um, but uh, there's the boiler. We got it set up. I need to do a little bit more kind of figuring out what I want to do. What we're going to do is have this automatically fed by this, and this should be producing enough with the creosote. Um, but I don't want to get it going and heat it up because at this point, I don't have anywhere to <laughs> send the steam. So uh, next episode, we'll do that. And um, I got to figure out what I want to do with that. We'll probably do a separate steam turbine. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and... Have a good one.